So I'm on a 30 minute break and I just wanted to come and like, I don't know, make this video, it's random. Some of y'all probably just won't care anyways, whatever. But I don't know, I just wanted to come and just talk because I just, I just want to talk. I just feel like talking. I am weak. I am emotional. I am a crybaby. I'm a disappointment to myself a lot of times. I am not the greatest person, human being. A lot of us ain't really. And I hate, I despise the fact that I can't be strong the way people want me to be strong. You know? It's not like you don't try. It's just, it's not as easy as people think it is. Because we all don't have the same mindset. We all don't have that strong will you know that some of us have and some of us just don't have because i don't have it i really don't so i was th i don't know if i wanted i wasn't really sure if i wanted to talk about this but i'm gonna just say it anyways so i have been separated from my ex-husband i never really talk about this you know because it's like the thing that oh you know you shouldn't really talk about you should just not say anything about it but i don't suppressing it just don't make you feel any better it just makes you feel like worse and i don't know how i can just do that i don't know so we've been separated we were separated well like i separated him i was separated with him for three years before i finally was able to divorce him and the divorce got finalized i think in october of last year and you know you think you're okay, but you're not really okay. I don't care what people say. Like, you're just not really okay, you know? Be because um, it's not something that you really want to happen. But, I mean, it happens. It is what it is. The thing that just comes along with that, with the whole separation thing and then, like, it being finalized, is, like, uh, you're, comp you're not the same person as who you were, you know? Like, um, it's so hard for me to take people serious. <laughs> like, like, I'm being dead serious. Like, it really, I feel like it really um changed me a lot. A lot. Some things are actually pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. But there's a lot of things where it's just like, Oh my God, like I feel like I'm paranoid all the time. Like literally, I do, like literally paranoid. Like, let me give you an example, okay? When I say, okay, okay, so basically, obviously, um, I'm not married or whatever, and I should be trying to date and move on. That ain't easy. Like, it's that's that's not easy. I don't think people really talk about that. Maybe people do. I don't really know. But that is not something that's easy because everybody, you're, tri you're triggered by literally every single thing. Like, I'm dead serious. Every little thing triggers you. And everybody is fake. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, everyone's fake. Everyone's not real. Like, who are you? Like, ill. What, what are your intentions? Mm, kind of iffy to me. Like, you're so paranoid. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. But, like, I don't trust nobody. I just don't. I don't. It's crazy. And it's, like, it's so bad that sometimes I feel like maybe I'm crazy. Because, okay, so, <laughs> let me give an example. So, there was this guy who... <laughs> Not even just a guy, like several of them. I don't know. My mind starts thinking, they probably went on my page, just checked to see if I was a Christian and whatnot, and they started coming and telling me, oh, you know, God said that you're the one for me. And I'm like, are you using Christianity to, like, feel like you're going to, you know, lure me in or whatever? Because, I mean, been there, and you ain't going to try me again. Like, you know when you, you've experienced something like, I'm not falling for this. I did it once. I ain't finna do it twice, you know? So, um, but then again, I'm like, maybe it's just in my mind and they're actually just trying to be like sweet talkers or whatever. And I'm just overthinking it. Like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, stuff like that. But then like you lose trust in a lot of things. Like, you do.
You lose trust because you start to think like, um, are people really sincere with you? Like, it's like your mind is, has been open to things like, like you probably took for granted. Like, like you kind of brushed to the side or something like that. Like, even and not just relationship wise, I'm talking about like people in general, like, I start to overthink, like, and I'm already an overthinker as it is. So now imagine you going through this. Now you overthink excessively, like, hmm, are you just pretending to be nice or what? Like, you know, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. It's, it's really bad, really bad. And like I said, it's not like something that you want to do. It's not like you, it's just so hard. And then you get to a point where you're like, I'm this. I'm going to stay by my soul forever. And you don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to be. I am not the person who wants to be by myself for the rest of my life. But I feel like I get so, um, I, I get so paranoid where it's so hard and, it's been four years, y'all, and I. it's so hard to be in a relationship. Like, it's so hard to take people serious, and it's just so, it's, it's, um, it's a real tragedy, to be honest. And I always wanted to talk about that, but I, I'm always scared. Like, you know, people's going to judge you, like, like, I don't know, especially when it comes to me. I, I don't like people talking about me at all, at all. I don't like it. I don't like people talking about me at all, and I'm sure a lot of people is now. I mean, now that I said that, <laughs> but who has anybody came and talked to me saying, "Hey, Cindy, how are you?" You know, "Hey, Cindy, after this divorce, like, how are you doing?" "Hey, Cindy, I noticed you know this person used to be in your life and they're no longer there. What's going on? Like, how are you mentally?" You know, "Hey, Cindy, like, so um, this is." The side effects of what can happen when you are no longer married or when you go through a divorce, like no one talks to you about that. And you know what? If I feel like I'm going crazy and I'm about to come on here and say what I got to say, well, I'm about to do that. Okay. That was improper English, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to, somebody must relate. Somebody can, there's no way, like there's no way that I have to suppress this and not express this. Like, no, absolutely not. And that's pretty much all I had to say. <laughs> there ain't nothing after that because, like, it, I mean, it really, there isn't. There's nothing after that. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to come and say that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you know, I feel a lot better now. Like, I feel like I feel... You know, I, I don't know. I just feel a whole lot better. Mm hmm So, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, I didn't even do no intro. <laughs> because it was kind of, like, random. I just did it while I was on, on break from school. So, I was like, let me just do this real quick. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Um, And, yeah. Hopefully, you guys get to this point and actually watch the whole thing. So stay blessed, stay safe. Bye.